Before taking the TOEFL IBT test, consider building yourself a checklist for success. What should you include on this checklist? Set target score goals for each section. Familiarize yourself with the test. Learn the answer techniques for each section. Answer practice questions for each section. Learn from others' test experience. Take a full three-hour practice test. In this video, we will take a look at what you can do to improve your test scores in the listening section of the TOEFL IBT. Visit the EduKitchen website, link in the description below, to learn more about how we can help you prepare to take popular tests of English, such as the TOEFL IBT. For example, we help familiarize you with the test by explaining the sections of the test, the format of each section, and how the TOEFL IBT is different from the TOEFL ITP. The videos on our website help to explain in detail the format of each section of the test. Click to subscribe to find these and other videos on the EduKitchen YouTube channel. The tips we offer here are meant to be a guide in making it easier to practice and in order for you to continue to improve your practice scores and get the scores you want on the actual TOEFL test. You should aim to have a score of 20 and higher for each section. And even if you have a practice score of over 20, here are some tips to maintain those high scores. Listen actively and summarize the main ideas you hear. Challenge yourself when listening to hard material by trying to summarize after you heard it for the first time. If your practice scores are at the intermediate level, focus on listening to material similar to what you listen to on the practice TOEFL test. Look for important details like the main idea and details when summarizing the listening material. Use English subtitles to help with harder words the first time you listen. Then listen again without subtitles and summarize the material. If your practice scores are low, don't get discouraged, just keep practicing. When listening to materials similar to the material you find on the TOEFL IBT test, ask yourself important questions while you summarize to help understand the main idea and supporting details. Important questions come from the five W's, who, what, when, why, and where and also how. Use your native language as subtitles to help you get a better understanding of harder words the first time you listen. Use English subtitles the second time you listen, then don't use subtitles the third time you listen. Yes, you should listen three times to help build understanding and vocabulary. Our listening skills are the foundation for helping to build all other language skills. So if you want real success on the TOEFL IBT, Start with improving your listening skills. Use your native or first language to help build understanding when listening, but don't stop there. The point is to keep listening in the second language so you don't always rely on your first language. Remember, your first language is only there to help your second language. If you want to improve your second language, you need to start with improving your listening skills. In the description below, you can find a link to a website that I find useful in helping to work with actual listening topics that will help put these tips to good use. I hope you found these tips useful, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Education Recipes for Learning for more videos like this and other educational topics. And until next time, keep learning and have fun. Thanks for watching.